Hey guys, Sunday Cerberus here, and we're playing some more Cafe Rouge today. We're hopefully going to finish this off. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. It could be a few minutes, it could be like almost half an hour. But uh, there's a possibility I might be able to finish this off this episode. So yeah, we left off where our friend came around to our house. I can't quite remember what his name was. I think it was Val, probably. Val came around to our house decided to watch a film and we ended off here with his eyes finally met mine for a moment all we could do was stare into each other's eyes so yeah let's continue and see where all this stuff goes I'm quite interested his auburn red hair looked as soft as his vo as his violet eyes reminded me of Earl Grey tea tea then I remembered uh, crud, I'm late. Letting go of Val, I quickly jumped off the couch and searched for my bag. Val watched me, a little confused and startled. Late for what? My shift, today's my first day, and I'm already late. Not that I really wanted to go. Oh well, I gulped. It was time for uh, time to meet those vampires. Sorry, Val. Let's finish this another day. <clears throat> the spare key. The spare key is under the rug, so just lock the door when you leave. Without even giving him a chance to say goodbye, I darted through the door and left. Uh. Oh, why am I at school? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, this way. Up this way. Poop. Poop. Uh, <coughs> that sends me back to the school, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it doesn't. Damn it. <coughs> that way. It sends me back to school. That way. 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 I don't know. I'll be back in a minute, guys, when I figure this out. Oh, God, no. I got it! I just randomly clicked everywhere, so I don't know how the hell I did. I just clicked everywhere and begged that it worked. <clears throat> Opening the door, I was greeted by a loud screaming. <coughs> I can't do screams. Oh, shit. Holy hell! Out of the kitchen ran a man with his hair on fire. Holy hell. Water! Water! Find water! No! No! <coughs> Someone crashed into me, tripping me along with him. Water spilled all over us. Ah! What the? S sorry, why have I still got the fire noises? God damn it. Scrambling up quickly, the water passed over me and went back inside the kitchen. Oh, the waiter, not water. Meh. I was so confused. What was happening? Don't just run around like... Don't just run around, you stupid baboon. Get on the ground! Roll! Someone tapped my shoulder. It was another waiter. Hi. Sorry about this. You're the new girl, right? What a hell of a way to start off your first day, I might say. <clears throat> I wasn't sure how to respond. If I was right... He was a vampire too. Um, yeah. Why don't you head inside the kitchen and we'll take care of the rest. Hesitating, I step away from him and made my way to the kitchen. Hopefully that finals will stop. Why? Yes! Ah, oh, finals has finally stopped. Hallelujah. Oh, Candon, uh, this bitch. Here, some... Someone take this bucket of water and help Aldo. Aldo, okay. A fire extinguisher's broken again. Well, that's useful. A broken fire... Pretty sure it's against health and safety. I don't much give a crap for that anyway, but oh well. As I walked in, the blonde bitch caught my eye. There was an awkward silence. Candins, dear. Let's hurry now. Aldo might catch the whole place on fire. Take a bucket or leave the kitchen. <clears throat> So I can either help this dude or uh, 
I think I'll just take a bucket. Might as well. Stutting over to the two waitresses, I looked over at Candence and held up my hand. Just give it to me. I'll do it. She blinked. Narrowing her eyes, she shoved the bucket of water into my hands. Don't come back here looking for another bucket. Okay, then I only need one bucket. You just fill it back up again. What the hell? Ignoring her, I burst out the kitchen door. Ah! Make it stop! Make it stop! Tossing the bucket, the water poured down, drowning the fire. Everybody in the room stopped, their panic and adrenaline settling down. Panting, I set the bucket and look and took a breather. H Hello. Just so calm, like, hi guys. Silence filled the room. <coughs> oh god, more than one sprout on the screen. Oh, yeah, I've already had more than one sprout on the screen. But three at the same time, it's more than I've seen. Everybody turned to stare my way. The same waiter from earlier broke the silence. Four, wow. Just see how many more we can get. Just sh shove another one on the side. Just shove them all on, yeah. <coughs> Hello, new girl. Another silent pause. It was getting too awkward. Wow. I thought vampires didn't come out during the day. Hmm? Everybody listened. It's not that stupid, is it? There's just a girl behind this dude right there. You can see her eye open. She didn't laugh. Everyone else laughed. She didn't. I'm just, I've just noticed that. Wow. Did I break the ice? Just because we aren't normal like you doesn't mean we're bloodthirsty monsters. <laughs> He walked over to me and raised his hand for a shake. My name is Christopher, but call me Chris. Isis, right? I nod. Yeah, pretty much. Welcome to Cafe Rouge. I'm the bartender, and I'll be giving you employee training today. Hell yes! A nice looking guy. No, I'm, I'm not gay. Anime characters that are males are usually either really, really nice looking or really, really fat. And they're like, eh, just over the top for both. Oh, um, employee training? Yes. Didn't you think we'd let a first timer like you go off and do whatever, right? So, like, yeah, I need training. <clears throat> Considering I don't know how this place works. We have a lot to teach you. Isn't that right, everyone? Everyone nodded their heads. Like fucking sheep. Alright then. Chop chop everyone. Get back to work. With a clap of his hands, everybody disappeared. Oh, okay. Hopefully that dude is alright. I mean, we just put out a fire on top of his head. But he hasn't had anyone had a look at him yet. I'm, I'm a bit worried for his health. Just someone check him over, please. <clears throat> now, Isis, before we start, do you have any more questions? Just vampire ones? <laughs> Do you s sleep in coffins? Chris paused. I could tell he was holding him in his laughter. No. Are you afraid of the cross? <clears throat> no. Is it true that you can't see yourself in the mirror? I never heard that one. But that would be that would sure be an inconvenience. How have you never heard of that? That was one of the more common ones, along with the other two. Actually, I think not seeing yourself in the mirror is more common than being afraid of a cross. I think about it. <coughs> Still got a cough, so voice is going to be hard on me, but I will do this for you guys. Considering I have to put my hair gel on everyone. Oh my god, no! No! A vampire putting on hair gel. That's a first. No. Then. Do you drink blood? Letting out a quiet chuckle, Chris ruffles my hair. <clears throat> let's just let's just tell you the basics, basic uh, logistics of us vampires, so you won't freak out. Oh, click. I thought I clicked it then. Oh well. Uh, we're not monsters, or zombies, or another s or another species even. We're humans, just like you. We eat, sleep, and function just like a normal human being. Although you're a vampire, so you're not a normal human being. <laughs> just, just put it out there. Except for the fact we can only function with food, water, and 
blood. Our three basic food groups of our race. Oh, meh, what are the class as food groups? So, no, we're not immortal, but we do live a thousand years compared to the hundred years, hundred year lifespan of a human being. Okay, so they live a bit longer, and that's what makes people think, oh my god, they're immortal! No. And, no, we will not be killing you and sucking your blood. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> that would be a very short series. So, does that answer all your questions, kiddo? <clears throat> It took me a while to absorb all that. Actually, I still didn't hear everything he said. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And there was one very important question he had missed. But as long as nobody's gonna bite me, I think I'm all set. Yeah, just someone comes up and <laughs> No, okay, sorry. Just wanders off. Um, um, yes. Alright then. On to the tour. Tour? Hell yeah! This is the bar. I, I can tell that you've only got one bottle of alcohol though, it looks very barren. Well, my bar. We only open this room during Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and weekends. Just the end of the week then. J just say you don't have it open on Mondays and Tuesdays, that that's fine. Here's the dining hall. The main gallery, if you may say so. Oh! There's Errol. As we walked over, the waiter tossed out the tablecloth, almost hitting us. Oops! Sorry there! Isis, Errol. Errol, Isis. Pleased to meet you. He hello. Errol bowed his head and went back to work. See, I picture him being like the really quiet like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Errol, he doesn't talk much. Hey, I got it right as well. Hey, well, close to it. But he's really nice once you get to know him. Okay. Now, on to the next area after you disappear. Okay. This is the Grand Opera stage, so to speak. We have a variety of performances every night. Oh, sweet. Some classical, some opera. But most of the time, it's good old jazz. Oh, yeah. Chris jumped up onto the podium and gestured towards the curtains. Prized fabric all the way from the Orient. <clears throat> Very expensive. So don't ever rip this. I, I gave a stern look. <clears throat> As Chris jumped off the stage, I couldn't help but notice a glimmer of gold in the shadows. However, it was far too concealed for me to make out what it was. Ah. I see money! We made our way back to the front lobby area. I think you already know what this is. Yeah, it's, it's the place where you sell all your sweets and shit. That look actually really, really nice. I want one. We only open this area during the day. Aldo makes the best pastries around. He used, used to be the world class chef, too. Aldo? The dude with his hair on fire earlier. Oh, oh, I got it right. Oh! <clears throat> Dude with his hair on fire. Alright, fair enough. And here is the kitchen. You were here last night, so I guess there's nothing more to say. The blonde bitch was still here from earlier, along with some strangers. So, Isis, this is Candace. The ginger one over there is Adeline. Adeline? Yeah, sweet, okay. Diane isn't here right now, but she was here earlier. How do you do? Hello. And over there is back. Over there in the back is Aldo. The chef waved his hands eagerly. Swanky dude. I love his purple hair. It's amazing. Bonjour, and welcome to my kitchen. Just over exaggerated everything. Aldo, I'm still not finished with. Christopher! My name is not Aldo. It is Aldo Brenner Abondernate. Nailed it. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Alba da What? Chris bent down to whisper. Just call him Aldo. He'll get used to it. No, no. Let's not keep the lady waiting. 
I will teach you the best of the best. Black Forest Cake. M maybe another time, Aldo. We're not done with employee training yet. Chris walked over to the other side of the kitchen, and I gladly followed. Ah, oh, I like Aldo. Aldo's cool. He's a cool guy. He just wants love. So now that now that that's done, let's start with a actual training session. Training? I gulped. Uh. Um, Chris, I have to tell you something. What? Um, I didn't think I can do. I can do waiting. Why not? Don't worry. Never will know you're a human once you have uh, contact lenses. Contact lenses? No. Oh, I think they're all because they've got, yeah, red eyes or something like that. No, it, it's not that. Um, You see, I have a medical condition thingy where I can't be around blood. Otherwise, I faint and black out and I just can't stand blood. Okay? I looked away, avoiding his glance. This is really the worst possible job that I could ever get. How the heck am I supposed to work here? Yeah, it would be a bit of a struggle. A bloody vampire cafe when I can't even stand blood. Is that so? His tone struck me off. Weird. I was expecting him to be outraged. Well then, you can always work in the kitchen. I'm sure Aldo would love a Sonia's chef. Or a pastry chef. Yeah, I'm pretty good cook. Hell yeah! Oh, I wanted to see more blood. I honestly did. Chris patted my head. Don't worry, kiddo. You'll fit in just fine. Hmm. I think I will leave it here because by the looks of it, there's a lot more on this. So yeah, I will leave it here for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series so far, give it a like and I'll do some more visual novels and a lot. Uh, yeah. If you found anything online that you think I might want to have a go at, bang it right in the comments. I'll always have a good check and I will always have a look and see whether it's worthwhile playing. And I'll bang it up on the channel if need be. And if you're liking my channel so far, then just just, just hit the subscribe button. Chew it like a dog bone. Chew it like a dog on a bone. Or a Cerberus on a skull. Whatever suits you. Whatever suits you fancy. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Sunday Cerberus going back down to hell. Ow!